Anybody follow you? Roy is rattled. Scared of Greco. Terrified of you. <laughs> Heard he started sleeping at the warehouse. It's the only place he feels safe. Good. Means I have an easier time getting my hands on him. Once he's taken care of, we'll move in. Vito will turn things around. You'll see. That poor fucking Roy is back at the warehouse. Do what you gotta do. Can I get a resupply in River Road? I'll head your way now. You want something? You let me know. Let me see what you got. I'll be... Business is done. You know how to fight. Get someone out here to River Road for this cash. Sure thing, Cher. Heading your way now. Got something I can hang on to for Better you? Better not lose this. Going straight to the bank. <laughs> What's the over under on Greco getting rid of Mr. Thibodeau? It's good odds we keep losing money in merchandise like we've been. Boy, I don't have the balls for this kind of work. Old boy's a paper pusher. This kind of thing's good for fellas like us. Battlefield promotions come a lot quicker. Assuming the man hitting us don't sneak in here and cut your goddamn throat, maybe you should worry about it.
Better get behind something. Contact. Get this human Over fucking here. body out of here. Let's do this! Hit him from the other side! Things good again for you, Roy. Join my crew. Great. That sounds great. Whatever you say. See? Things are already looking up. Need you guys to secure the smuggling operation at the warehouse. I'll send them over. And Lincoln, just cause Greg goes a dipshit doesn't mean he's a pushover. He'll probably send out some of his men, have him try and take you out. So watch your ass. Get your hands on Greco and rough him up all you want. But don't kill him. That's for me. in the third platoon company C of the 614 tank destroyer battalion during World War II. I trained as a medic, but I still carried a gun. Every man in our company was black. The army didn't know what to do with us other than they didn't want us fighting with the white men. Limbach. Limbach was that little French town up there near the border with Germany, and we were ordered to take it. Now, the Krauts took out three of the four anti-tank guns we had, but there was no way in hell we were letting them get the better of us. We were determined to show we was just as good, if not better, than every other soldier in the service. I, I don't like talking about medals I got over there. Only way a man survives something like that is through the grace of God. Doesn't seem right celebrating a little piece of tin. 
No one knows I helped Lincoln except for you and John Donovan. Not that I'm keeping a secret, mind you. Just that nobody ever came around and asked about it. Hey, Lincoln. Everything back to normal here now, thanks to you. Trying to get past the midweek hump? Come after the French ward. It's your Uncle Lou Marcano here, letting you know that every night is the weekend in the French ward, home of the four o'clock happy hour. That's right. Historic landmarks like the Mystic and the 800 Club will be offering discount drink specials Monday through Thursday, every week. Can you believe that? <laughs> and if you see me out in the way, just say hello. I might just buy you a whiskey. <laughs> Only in the French War. Greco's in that building at the end of the block. A lot of whoas in there. Probably face down a pussy right now. You got any muscle with him? Yeah, a couple of meatheads. I'll go around the front, you take the back. He tries to run, grab his ass. Nobody kills that prick but me. Fuck. Those are Marcano's guys. Cut, suck. Come on, back to the car, you drive, I'll cover us. Fuck, if that little prick gets away. Ha! Greco end up with my car. He's a little fuck, that's how. God damn it, why don't you just let Marcano handle this jackass? Marcano would just kill a little shit stain. I want to take my time. Besides, until I can get at Marcano directly, this is the next best goddamn thing. Point taken. You fucks ready to die for this piece of shit, Greco? Huh? Go back to Sal, tell him he's done fucking Vito Scaletta! Ah, never mind, I'll tell him myself! That boy is mine! Don't shoot my car, Vito! Fuck! Yes. Vito agreed to work with Lincoln on one condition, that he bring him Michael Greco. When Greco escaped, Vito backed out. Just let Marcano handle this jackass. Marcano would just kill a little shit stain. I want to take my time. Besides, 
until I can get at Mark Connell directly. This is the next best goddamn thing. Point taken. Promises. No way I'm letting that dipshit get away. He's running. Cops are closing in. Hey, get the door. Yeah. Come on. Code 35, suspicious person and vehicle. Responding muted in You're gonna have to shake these corn potent redneck motherfuckers. What? What happened? You crossed the wrong motherfucker, that's what happened. Now shut the fuck up! All units, suspect sighted in River Row. Let me go! Cops are still on us. Lose them, Lincoln. Cops. What do you want, huh? You want money? I can get you assholes money. Settle down back there, kiddo. Ride will be over soon. Thank you. 
Place. Yeah. Pull around to the chum shack in the back. And as for you, have a little dignity. Christ. Chicken shit, motherfuckers. Let me go already. Back to your place. Yeah. Pull around to the chum shack in the back. And as for you, have a little dignity. Christ. Help! Somebody fucking help! Help! Watch out for cops. Don't want to get pulled over with this asshole in the back seat. Oh. Whew. Shit. <laughs> For a couple of years there, I really thought I might be done with all the Jimmy Cagney bullshit. But here I am. Ronnie, I kind of figured you for more the Edward G. Robinson type. <laughs> Look at you, kid. You know, God's got a sense of humor, too. It's sick as shit, but that motherfucker's got one. Like the 
Do nothing. You were getting ready to fucking kill me. I was just doing what Uncle Sal told me to do. Nah, that fuck never liked me. I get it. But this? You never tried anything like this before. I don't. I don't. Come on, Mikey. Why do you want me gone all of a sudden? He said you were a carpet bagger. Never should have been down here in the first place. <laughs> you want me to keep going? You got nine more. Fuck! Listen, Jesus, he was worried to know about the casino. And so we're gonna play up to Leo and the commission. What casino? Answer the question. Uncle Sally's. You, you, you see that construction across the lake? He's building a casino over there. He wants to go legit. Turn this city into Las Vegas. Gambling's illegal. Uh, yeah, no shit, it's illegal. Uh, which is why he's paid a bunch of money to get the lost chain. Who else is involved in this? I don't know. I don't know, I swear it! <laughs> Look, I, I told you what you wanted to know. You're gonna let me go now, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Stupid fucking prick. I'll clean this mess up. No reason for you to stick around. Remember our deal. I'm expecting to cut of everything you bring in. Yeah, I know how this shit works. You'll get your money. There's a woman named Alma. Helps me out sometimes. Cuban. Mean as fuck. She talk to her, see if she needs anything. Might be an easy way to bring in some extra money. Where's she at? At the warehouse. All right. What are you gonna do with him? Fish gotta eat like everyone else. At what point did you become aware that Sal Marcano wanted to build a casino north of the city? Pretty early on. Michael Greco told Lincoln about it. And Lincoln Clay's plan was to specifically target various entities related to Marcano's casino plan? Between the bribes he was paying out to get gambling legalized and the money needed to pay off the commission, Sal was stretched pretty thin. So Lincoln used that to his advantage. Forced Sal into making some extremely hard decisions. Decisions that would limit his options. I'm telling you, we make twice as much bread moving heroin as we would from a stupid fucking casino. Maybe three times. This ain't about the money. <laughs> You're joking, right? All I ever heard from you is, don't give me that goddamn excuses, you understand? You paid me what's fucking old! You think this is a game, <laughs> son? And it's my fault for playing along with you. We're not setting you straight. But it's not a game. This shit wears on you, grinds you down. I ain't had a decent night's sleep in 43 years. And then after Lucho, shit. But hey, we got the cocksuckers who did that. Every last one of them. Yeah, and your uncle's still dead, ain't he? Yeah. You think sitting in that chair makes you special, huh? Somehow puts you above all the bullshit. Well, it's the opposite. All it does is paint a giant goddamn bullseye on your forehead. There's a price to be paid for all this, you understand? And I'm tired of paying it. Mainly, I'm worried I'm going to get a phone call telling me you're dead in a gutter somewhere. What do you expect me to do, huh? Work the front door? Glad hand folks as they come on in, maybe give them a quick slap on the ass? You run it with me. And here, after a few years, after I know everything's settled down, you'll take over. Find yourself a nice woman. Give me some fucking grandkids. Sound boring as fuck. 
It's the only way, son. The world is changing. Used to be people knew their place. Now everybody's screaming about equality. And now they all deserve a slice of the pie. Niggas, mix, gooks, you name it. Our way of doing things won't work in a world like that. Yeah. You come to me with something like this, Lou, you better be goddamn sure. Yeah. Lincoln Clay is still alive. Fuck 